set um, this big bus here because <laughs> it's produced by Mole King so I name it Mole King um, it's not obvious that this is Mole King okay you see it when you open the bags it's typical go bricks and someone has told me that Mole King has manufactured it it's here it's cons PT it's a 1 by 16 from the Hong Kong bus company the Volvo B8L Volvo double decker bus, yes, and uh, it's from KMB, that's the Kowloon Metro Bus Company. It's a bus company and perhaps other vehicles, I don't know exactly, in Hong Kong. And you often see these double decker buses in, when you are in Hong Kong. I ask a few people, and they say to me, Yes, I remember the red buses, like in London. Okay, so they are well known for people who are living in Hong Kong or had their sightseeing trips, you know what I mean. Okay, so KMB or Mole King produced this set for KMB for the bus company and I thought first because I didn't have all the information they produced a, th a thousand for um, as a you could give it to customers, for bigger customers, or you know what I mean. Yeah? Um, for important people, for people who are working long for the company, or you give it to, to uh, for beneficial things, or something like that. But it was so, they produced 200 for internal members of the company, and for bigger customers and so on. And then they decided, okay, uh, they liked the set, we produce a thousand more as a limited, perhaps for Hong Kong people or people who were, were there and has driven or have done a sightseeing tour with this bus. So this is a limited edition, but it's still available and it's on the market since three or four months at least. So I'm assuming that the Hong Kong people didn't buy it. <laughs> if there is a special reason, so this set sucks, no, this, that's not a reason. I don't know. Okay, uh, for, first thing first. In the, we have go bricks pieces and it looks like a molking. The instructions is okay. It has little mistakes. Pieces you had, it says you have to assemble, but then the whole panel doesn't fit here. So we have to remove the one by two blade. And I thought in the beginning, uh, no, this can't. Yes, put it on. Okay, it was wrong. Removed it, and then okay, that's that's obvious. Uh, another thing is that from the doors, when you build it, like in the instructions, from the front doors only uh, one door opens. The others they forgot the mechanism, or it's intended, and I don't know. Perhaps okay. So, I know what you're saying, this bus looks a little bit clean, yes. The reason is I want to sell it because it's too big. And a lot of the stickers go over several pieces. And I, when I sell it, the guy who buy it obviously wants to build it again because that's the biggest fun part of a set. It's okay, it's okay to look at them, but the building experience is the most part of it and he can't build it again when I sticker it. That's the reason. But you've seen in the, how it looks in the, 
in the thumbnail or just Google KNB bus and look at Google search. They all look nearly the same. Okay, we have the stickers here. Most of them are for the sides. These are the big ones. They are obviously for outside of the bus or here the front side. You see the pictures. The front side. Okay. More for the front side, so I, I believe you can have four different uh, signs for a line. And there are driving schedules when the, when the bus will arrive and estimate approximately time, you know what I mean. They are for inside sometimes or for this. And more stickers for inside and outside the bus. Okay, so that's the reason it isn't sticker. So I don't show it to you into the camera. You see the pictures in the beginning. Okay, this set comes to me and the power function went in. They got lost because it was two separate packages, because Akku box, special price, you know what I mean. So the set arrived and the motors didn't come. And I asked Loy, where are the motors? I don't know. We wait. And after four weeks I said again, where are the motors? And so hey, the company doesn't know, nobody knows. Okay. Then I try or I opened or another two weeks. Uh, then I said, okay, I have to start the set. And I opened it and okay, I can't build it without power functions. Because the instructions are for power functions and to only show you a big red box that does nothing. It was a little bit too too boring. So I said, okay, I look what I need and you sent me other power functions separately from Mold King. So I said I need two XL motors, an L motor, servo motor, battery box and remote. He sent it to me. After that I seen, oh, I needed an extension cable. Okay, I get, I get rid of my Greyhound buggy and I forgot there are lights. So normally this has two uh, LED for the front lights. Okay. So instructions, okay. Sticker quality, I believe very good. Volking has mostly good stickers. Not, not always, but mostly good stickers. Piece quality, it's go bricks. So piece quality is great. Some little scratches in the 8x16 tiles here on the top. Um, little scratches on the panels and one or two scratches or in every of the slopes but they are really not big so if you are away half a meter you don't see the scratches so only if you're close then you see the scratches so it's okay absolutely and clutch power and everything you know my channel it's go bricks it's great quality sometimes better than lego you have no color issues with go bricks normally if the Pieces are all from Gobricks out of a Mold King set or such a set or Rael set. They use Gobricks too. If you have only Gobricks pieces, you have nearly no problems. Only with some technical, like the actuators or sometimes with the motors perhaps, but mostly not with the parts. So the quality is great. The assembly is... it's a big bus. It's not a pain in the... but it's no... yeah, okay? You, you can imagine. You have a lot of big pieces, so and not so cool functions. It's a bus. It drives, it steers, it opens the doors. That's all we can, and it's all I expected. But so the technic part is not too advanced. So it's okay, but not wow. This is technic of the next generation. No, it's really simple and straight. And so the time is relatively fast. We have 10 building steps, 9 and 10 are really small, we have 8 bigger building steps, you need half an hour, perhaps 45 minutes for each building step. And it's repetitive. Panel, 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 60 seats, you can imagine. So, um, building experience is not so really cool. So this set is really for fans of the 
of buses, of double-decker buses, or especially of the KMB bus, because for people who are not really into buses, it's a big red block. But if you like buses, then I think it's a, a nicely done. It's nicely done. I sh okay, we come. I, I measure it. You've seen it in the set info, but I like to measure. I like to measure. And we are nearly seven, 73 centimeters. And we are nearly 20 in width. And we have nearly 27 in height. But this thing is heavy. It's really big and okay. It's heavy. It's really heavy because it has a lot of big pieces and I'm I'm not a fan of the panels. Because I like to build houses and I don't like houses with the panels. So for me it is mostly a bummer with panels. But inside the set here I'm happy because when you use normal bricks for the same, you have a big amount more of weight. And um, we still have around five kilogram. And with the full, if every panel here is made out of bricks, this would be seven kilogram or something like that. Okay, so we come to the action. He drives. It's okay. It's okay. He steers. And I have to be honest, I'm surprised that he don't need much more space than the eight, 1 by 8 cars. And they are sometimes 15 centimeters shorter. So it's okay. We have one tire on the first and the last axle and double tires on the middle axle. So I ah, we can we can open here a hatch at the end. Okay. And see the motor. So and he can wrong direction. He can open the doors and he can close the doors. So okay like I said Normally, only one front door. So, okay, ah, oh, man. That's... When you have to carry him, he is not the coolest set to carry. And he is very deep. So, you can't get your fingers underneath it. So, it's better to get pressure on the front and in the back. So, okay, so... Okay, in the middle section here are two 32 length uh, carbon fiber axles for the pressure to open the doors over this length. And you see it works. And we have two carbon fiber axles in five or six length here uh, at the main power. We have the two XL motors sitting here. They go first onto this tires section and then to this tire section. On this tire section, you really have to push the axle uh, through the part that holds the rim, not only with your fingers, so you have to need something like a knife or a needle. It has really to move two millimeters more in. If it don't, you don't have the connection to the, to the, uh, to the differential. We have two differentials, no suspension. Well, I expected a big, big bus like that. We fix that. Yeah, the weight. So <laughs> you need 20 suspension or something for for the five kilogram that it won't turn everything down. You see, this thing here has really a lot of big parts, a lot of Technic frames, of Technic beams, of normal bricks, a lot of plates, really a lot of plates. Six by twelve, eight by twelve. 4x10, a lot of plates, 
2x4 bricks in black, in red, in grey, a lot of the panels, a lot of the slopes. It has not so much technic inside, so it's hard to say if you don't like it as a set, because a lot of sets, you know it yourself, have has a, a good piece amount for a mocker or someone who built their own creation. And that's I often say when I say this set is absolutely great to butcher it for the pieces. Buy it only for the pieces. If you walk up by this set, you can use nearly everything. So here I'm not sure, because the Technic pieces and the amount of it are not so cool. They are much better sets. And system-wise, you get a lot of pieces, but not a big variety of pieces. So we get a lot of the, 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 the big panels, a lot of blades, and yes, a lot of 2x8 and 2x6, uh, uh, but perhaps 40 different system pieces or something like that, and 30, 40 different technique pieces, so not a much uh, different pieces inside here. And I don't know people who, the mostly are, who need pieces, have a city or building Star Wars mocks or something like that, or Technic, and then you need Technic parts or system parts. So here we have both, and Technic not so cool, and the system not a big variety in color and differency of the pieces. So I don't know if this is a great set to butcher for the pieces. If you need really the panels and this kind of slopes in red and a lot of blades in red, then this, this is your set. And the, the grey uh, panels... Uh, okay, I remove one. Ah, come on! This panel here, you know it. Okay. All of the... I don't know how many seats. I would say around 50, 50 of these panels in tan. If you need them, that's <laughs> your set. So, okay, but you know what I mean. But what I find interesting, this set is not really much, or costs not much more than the normal Mold King set. Especially when you take the weight, you can't really often compare sets with the piece per with the piece price because six thousand pieces all little slopes so this has only three and a half but the weight is immense really immense so this set is not really expensive but it's produced perhaps I don't know when there are other sets and perhaps perhaps two thousand. Thousands to sell and thousand for to give friends. And it's still so cheap, in my opinion. So you could imagine what Lego will found you if you were letting pro Lego produces you two thousand. <laughs> you know what? Okay. My thoughts are going, this is really not expensive. And so smaller companies can make little sets or mid-price sets for the, the best business partners, the best customers. You know what I mean. Companies, they never could afford uh, to do something with Lego. Cause they, yes, and there are a lot of companies, much more than big companies. And if you can produce such a set, that's cool. You know what I want to. In which direction my thoughts are going. So perhaps in the near future, we see more specialized sets of special little bigger vehicles, uh, attractions, pictures, you know what I mean, you can do everything. If you're a car company, if you're Hertz, you can make a little Hertz car. 
if you're an airline, you can make jumbo jets. If you are a bus company, you know in which direction I want to go. So that's the interesting part of this set for me. Okay, is this set a good set? If you are a fan of especially K and B or big red double-decker buses, you like what you're seeing, it's worth the money. It's not so cool building experience, it's not bad, it's not a pain in the... It's okay. Yeah? But there are sets I would prefer <laughs> or rank much over this if it is if it's up to the building experience. So this is really a set for lovers of buses or people who went were in Hong Kong and said, hey, I loved my sightseeing tour with this red bus. This is a nice memory for me. I buy the set. Then it's your set. Then it's your set. But for a normal guy, there are better Technic sets. There are not so much better buses. There are not much buses that can drive in the brick set world from LEGO. There's nothing. And from Xin Yu, there's another bus. Uh, uh, I have it on the channel. In the end card, it's the Xin Yu bus. And I think this is the better bus. If you really like a big bus, then it's your set. And you have to be fast, because they produce thousands. I'm, I I'm, can, can still get it that they are still available after three months. So the Hong Kong people don't like it, perhaps, or they don't have the money for something like that. They have other problems in Hong Kong. And European people, Travelers, they don't know this exists. Where should they? Yeah. Where should they get the information that this bus is available now? So, they, a thousand is not much, but uh, I'm wondering after three months that's still not a lot. I believe under 10 are still available, Loy said. So you have to be fast. If you want it, then buy it now, because in a few months or something like that, I will believe you have to pay more if you want it on eBay or something like that. Okay, tell me your opinion first about the bus. Like I said, it's okay, not great, but okay. Um, but more perhaps over my thoughts that it's so affordable to make uh, such sets. If you see the costs and Loy got, he earned money with selling this and a lot of freight costs. So you can imagine perhaps in the end how cheap the production of such a set is in China. I believe the production costs not much more over 20, 30 dollars. The rest are cost for packaging, freights, and so on. You know what? There's a lot. Taxes. So perhaps $30. It's such a big set. So small companies can afford, when they buy 5,000 or 10,000 of smaller sets, it's affordable. It's affordable. Okay. Thank you for your watching. It was longer than I expected. And I hope you like it. Tell me your thoughts. I'm really interested in it and I catch you in the next one. Bye bye.